Hey, Speed is alive. Speed is off. Just in the ground attack. And off we go. Well, good morning, guys. It is a beautiful sun Sunday morning down here in the Sunshine State, and I am heading from Valkyrie Airport to Okeechobee for breakfast, because that's what you do when you have an airplane. You find any excuse you can to fly. Right now, it looks like we're about 18 minutes out from landing in a Viking Dragonfly. If you haven't heard of Viking Dragonfly before, it is a canard or tandem wing air airplane, depends how you look at it. Uh, canard because the elevator is on the front and the ailerons are on the back. There are no flaps in these aircraft. It'd be a little bit complicated to do. This one does have aileron reflexors though, so if I trim it certain ways, I can get pretty slow in the aircraft. If you haven't flown a Dragonfly or even seen one before, they are very unique. They aren't hard to fly, they're, they're different. When I first got mine, I thought it was uh, more than I could handle, and I went and got a few more hours of table training in Cantabria, and was able to sort the airplane out pretty easily. The, the Probably the most difficult thing with this plane is you do have to wheel land it every time. It will not free point. If you free point, you can end up stalling the canard and breaking something. So we, don't, we never try that. We come in pretty flat, as most canards do. But that does increase our takeoff and landing roll. When we get to Okeechobee, I'll try to talk through what's going on right up to before touchdown, what I'm doing. But mostly what I do when I land this airplane is I set it up for about 85 on short final and just let the airspeed slowly bleed off and let it level off about one foot above the ground and just let it settle. Air pressure in the tires does play a role. If you have a little bit too much, it will tend to bounce. So I usually run about 29 PSI in this. As the Chevy traffic, experimental 41 Golf Kilo is about to north and down to land runway 23 of Chevy. And that could be traffic experimental 41 off kilo is over flying the airfield at 1500 feet for a right here drop and entry for a left down one for runway 23 of Jody. So I'm going to go ahead and start trimming. Trimming the plane out for. Past the airfield, I should say. And 
we're one mile away. So I'll go ahead and pull this in. And we'll start our descent. And Okeechobee traffic is going to four one down Kilo is entering a left downwind for runway two three Okeechobee. Okeechobee traffic. And that was nice. A little high. Bring it down. Lower down. One hundred miles per hour. Ninety five. Obi Chubby traffic. Experimental four one golf kilo is turning left face runway two three Obi Chubby. Power. Too much. Flatten this out. That's that pitch angle. There we go. Oak Chevy traffic, uh, red light ball. We are three east. And if there's no other traffic, I'm going to enter a left face for two three. Find the landing traffic. And 4 1 golf kilo, it's final front way 2 3, Oak Chevy. Ninety. Keep it straight. And get it down to eighty five for short final. But I try to land a little long. And eyes way out. Mississippi traffic, red white mall is on the left face for two three. Oh, got a little squirrely there. That was all me. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. It's actually one of my nicer touchdowns.